Happy Easter, uh, dear friends. Hope you have a, a wonderful rest day. Because here, at least, we do in Riga, Latvia. And, uh, well, I couldn't really miss this opportunity to do one more stream. Uh, it was originally planned to do to be organized in the evening, but okay, whatever. I'm going to do it a bit earlier. And the plan is for today to organize a brand new speedrun. So, in case you're like completely new to my channel and you don't know what I've done in the past days, well, here's the breakdown. On Friday, Chessable released my fourth course, Leningrad Dutch Simplified. It's out there. And in order to showcase the most common ideas, I will start a new speedrun, starting today, starting right now, with a new account. As you can see, I will be Dr. Dutch, that's me, delivering the medicine to the unfaithful <laughs> depot players. And also possibly explain the thought process uh, behind the Dutch. And um, of course, after the stream, I will also upload probably the best parts on YouTube. Uh, pretty surprised the username wasn't taken. Well, Dr. Dr. Dot Dutch was taken, but Dr. Dutch was not. <laughs> all right. So the plan is this. I will plan to play all the games with the black color. This is what I have decided. And don't you dare to play E4 against me. You know, I'm not sure what to do then. Probably I'll have to cancel some of the games. I hope the system is not going to auto-ban me. But the goal is to get from 400 to... I mean, the sky is the limit. I don't know, 2800, 2900, I don't really know. I've never been myself 3000 with a, a standard account. So I'm not really sure if 3,000 will be possible, but I mean, okay, fine. I can say up to 3,000. We'll see how it goes. All right, Dr. Dutch, you're on. Come on, play D4. Yes, 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 yes. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So why are we playing F F5? The point is to avoid symmetrical positions with knight F6, G6, bishop G7, E4. This is the Staunton Gambit. The history is that Howard Staunton played this only once, 200 years ago, and yet the name sticks. This is pretty ridiculous, to be honest, but okay, whatever. E takes f3, knight f3 is pretty risky because after bishop d3, you shoot castle, queen e1, queen h4, white develops a pretty strong attack. So we play d5. Hey, Sandy. c4. Okay, I don't think this move exists. I don't remember it. So, I mean, maybe it makes some sense to play knight c3 to apply pressure against the center. Let me think. I could play e6 and just be done with this. Um, but, you know, I'm looking at this position and wondering, why not c6? Oh, wait, he could take stakes and play knight c3. So, maybe I need to play something more aggressive. So, what could it be? Knight f6, stakes, and knight c3 maybe there's some interesting counterattack in the center with e5 yeah let's just play let's play c6 okay i think this is okay also i don't think he cannot position the bishop on c4 for example f takes d takes there's no bishop c4 so i think c6 is all right f takes if I play knight e4, takes, takes, queen h5, g6, queen e5 is the problem. So I got to take with a pawn. Damiano's defense was named after him because he said it was bad. Okay, now he wants to play bishop c4. So I should probably stop it because this bishop, this bishop usually we have to get rid of with knight a5. So bishop e6 makes quite a bit sense. Ah, wait, maybe I also had an idea to play e5. e5, d takes, and queen d1. This was actually an interesting option. Okay, maybe bishop e6 was not the best one, so e5 had to be considered. Okay, queen h5, check. Unfortunately, I take the queen. I don't think you can do that. 
All right, okay, he resigns. Give me more Dutch. Finally. Yes, yes, yes. All right. E3, bishop e2. I'm going to play the classical Dutch. This is pretty passive, but of course, I mean, you can do that. The most principal continuation is to play d3, e4. So after d3, d6, e4, you play e5. This is something else. Probably Castle is fine, but I mean, he might still think about h4, h5. So I'm going to stop at d6 and e5. Okay, I mean, you don't need the center. I'm going to take it. That's always the rule. Castles, I think now this doesn't look very dangerous. I can always meet it with h6 if I want. Yeah, this is very slow, obviously, what he's doing. All right, let's start some fireworks. I mean, obviously, I can play h6, g5, queen e8, queen h5, something, or queen g6. But f4 looks very promising, opening up the file and the bishop as well. So I have four e takes, and if I'm thinking about knight h5, if he takes it, I play knight f4. And this knight is very difficult to get rid of. He doesn't do that. There's also this idea to sacrifice the pawn with g5 at some point. Oh, wait, maybe nothing really changes. I'm going to stop with queen e8. Can I play g5 now? Sacrifice the pawn for our tempi? Maybe I don't have to do that. Okay. How playable is old Benoni? I don't know. Probably it's pretty playable. So my attacking chances look pretty good. F3, sacrifice the pawn at some point. If he goes away, that is. I think he already has to sacrifice the piece with queen f4. Okay, this is a very easy... Oh, wait, bishop f3. Oh, my goodness. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, this was silly. I should have played queen g6 and then play f3. I mistake. I made a mistake of three. Bishop f3, I could not take uh, with a pawn. My queen would be under attack, but he immediately missed it. Okay, now let's think about how do I exploit... His king's weakness. Okay, yeah, it's just a mate. King h1, I think it was necessary. A lot of pieces of the queens are doing nothing, and the king is left alone. All right, thank you for the game. D4. Okay. Ah, okay. This is actually a very interesting question from somebody in the forums. So F5 supposedly is not really great against Knight C3, but let me try to make it work. Okay, he was supposed to play E4, and against Knight C3, as I understand, F5 is not really so great. You can play whatever. You can play E5. You can play D5. You can play C5. Everything is great. Now he plays e4. Okay, now I just take. Now this is not good for black. For white, my apologies. d5, knight e5, knight e5, queen h5. Never miss these ideas. So in order not to miss it, I'm going to play g6. Would I consider Gatikamsky, Pavel Alyanov, Levon, Grishuk, and Panamaryov chess legends? Of course. Of course they are chess legends. I mean, if they are not chess legends, who are? I mean, they are highly accomplished players. Okay, take on d3. Knight c6. Wait, I'm dropping a pawn here. Okay, this was not necessary. 
I rushed a bit with this knight c6. Yeah, should have played something more solid. He, he immediately misses it. What should I do? Just protect it. Because it also locks out his own bishop on b3. Why well, I'm castling the opposite side? Because I believe his king is uh, pretty weak. And this means that I should have pretty decent attacking chances on the king side. Knight b5. Yeah, but I don't see what's happening there. The opponent a7 is protected. Bishop f3. Queen h3 is the idea. Okay, knight e5, knight a7, king b8, just one check. Still. Okay, where's the mate? Okay, let's just take the queen for starters. Yeah, this is hopeless. All right, thank you for the game. Okay, fine. E3 also is going to work. We are going to go for the Dutch again. G6, Mr. G7, Shot Castle. Okay, g6. Knight f3, bishop g7. I mean, okay, I probably can simply play castles, but he plays knight f4 and he's thinking about some h4, h5 ideas. I don't think he has the time for that, but okay, let's start with d6, e5 first. All right, and then castle. What's my son's elo? It's um, 600 or 700. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe 700. F takes on e4, open up the bishop, open up the rook. Protect the pawn, 9g4, queen h4, trying to go for the mate. The bishop is protecting the knight. The queen is getting the knight. Play c6. Maybe queen c7 hitting with a mate. He sees it. But not this threat. Am I a celebrity in Latvia? Thank goodness, no. Thank goodness. No. I don't think that celebrities have a really great life. Knight a6, knight c5, bishop g4, knight of 3 bishop of 3 queen d7, queen h3, try to checkmate on h2. Let's try to make it work. All right, I think this game is going to be over very quickly. Let's just find the fastest way. All right, he resigns. Oh, finally. It's such a joy to see the Dutch. And then he plays b3. So what do I should do against this? I mean, I think something like e6, d5 makes a lot of sense. g6, you need to watch out for h4, h5. I don't know, d5?
Okay, maybe counter strike in the center. <laughs> I definitely don't have B3 in the course. I definitely don't. Okay, let's be aggressive. Knight e4? Maybe c takes on d4. The point is knight b5, bishop b4. But I'm not really sure if it's any good to me. Bishop c3. Okay, this unfortunately drops something. So bishop c3 was the only move. Is there immediate win? No checks. Knight c3, knight e5. I think I can do it. Am I ethnically 100% Latvian? I mean, is there even such a thing to be 100% ethnically? of one nation. No, but I don't think I have any Russians in my roots. I have some Germans, I think. It's just castle. All right, Queen C4. Let's find a mate. Let's find a mate as quickly as possible. Do I like cats or dog more? Or dogs more? I'm a cat person. I have one at home. Maybe. Oh, thank you. Okay, this wraps up the game immediately. Finally, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Queen C2. <laughs> this is definitely not in the course. Um, I guess G6. E3. G3. Okay. And again, if, if the opponent is not really willing to take the center, I mean, you should always do that. Maybe queen e8, h6, g5, queen h5. Let's try this. d4, f4. Yeah, but it's not... Not really Dutch, is it? This is the idea. If he plays into like knight b5, I can always defend the pawn with knight a6. All right, let's open up the queen, uh, the king side. The idea is bishop h3, g4, f3, maybe even g4, f3 immediately. If he takes a couple of times, he exposes the king. Looks very dangerous for white. Bishop g4 looks very good, but I don't know. Okay, pr probably this is just clean. g4, f3, lock the bishop from the game. Maybe also bishop f6. If Noderbeck had qualified for the candidates, I think he would have uh, decent chances. Because he is on a very nice roll recently. I think Noderbeck would have made a difference.
I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it's not, to be honest, so clear here, because Queen d5 is some counterattack. <clears throat> Maybe actually I need to complete development. I mean, there's the rule that never forget about your development, right? I mean, bishop e6, stopping queen d5, d takes, knight c6, and then take on h4. Let's see what happens. Ninety four. Can I do this? Actually, I'm not like totally sure. I think I actually missed here. There was a major move, Queen C three. <laughs> this would have been very difficult to stop. I just realized that. Hope it works. Queen d8. I just take it. Wait, that's a mate, right? And where's the meat at mate? Let me see. Queen f2, queen d3, knight b4. I don't see the mate, but let's just take the queen. Trying to find the mate. Yeah, that's it. All right. 